These little pediatric blood bullets have caused us all a lot of misery along with uh, our patients and their parents because they clot over and over again and we have to keep going back and sticking the patient. One way to make it work the first time is to basically start out the way you always do. I, I like to put a little petroleum jelly over the area I'm going to stick because the blood sort of rolls off much more easily. It's a lot easier to collect that way. I don't really like the pediatric sticking device that I'm using here because the needle is so small, you don't really get good flow. So I tend to actually use a slightly larger gauge needle to uh, make my little, my little nick in the skin there. Then you take your heparin eye syringe, and just as if you were going to do an ABG or a VBG, you squirt out the extra heparin. Then what you do is you aspirate each little drop of blood into the heparin eye syringe. Push the extra air out and then aspirate the next drop. Keep going over and over and over until you have about one cc of blood. Then you take this blood, which here looks surprisingly like V8 juice, and uh, drip it into your little blood bullets. These will not clot. Now, of course, you can't use this for coagulation panels or anything like this, but it's fine for cell counts and for chemistry. We do that on heparinized patients all the time. You can also use the heparin in a syringe if you have a body fluid that's very bloody, like a joint tap from synovial fluid or even a really bloody LP. Those can clot sometimes. So take the, the specimen you're going to send for the cell count, not the culture, the cell count, and a squirt a little heparin in there, and that'll keep it from clotting to make sure you get a reliable cell count from the lab.